I am Sandy Chavez, host of Holland Fintech Live News. And in this week's News Roundup, Binance helps Indonesian digital asset exchange, Klarna and GoCarlis provide debit payments, and Deutsche Borse embraces crypto assets through acquisition. Notable investments this week cover Aspiration, Mambu, and Silverflow. Cayman-based Binance, today's largest cryptocurrency exchange platform, joins MDI Ventures to develop a new digital asset exchange in Indonesia. The crypto giant will assist MDI in managing its infrastructure and technology in order to run the new exchange platform. The CEO of Binance says that the company's ambition is to grow the blockchain and cryptocurrency ecosystem globally, and this initiative in Indonesia is a significant step in that direction. Currently, MDI is valued at $830 million and is Indonesia's largest telecommunication company. European fintech firms Klarna and GoCarlist will now provide American customers with bank debit options at checkout. Klarna will be doubling their customer base in the U.S. to over 21 million compared to last year. In addition, they predict a rapid growth for alternative payment methods. This move satisfies the urge of rising card fees and the need for debt dropping, allowing customers to purchase using the buy now, pay later credit, and paying open balances directly from bank accounts. This isn't the first time we see Klarna from Sweden and GoCarlist from the UK work together. They've partnered in other projects in the US since 2019, and they've worked in the UK the year prior. German-based Deutsche Börse Group acquires a majority stake in Swiss fintech Crypto Finance AG. Swiss fintech currently offers crypto trading, storage, and investment tools in over 200 digital assets for clients. In a recent press release, it's mentioned that the CEO will continue to lead crypto finance and retain a significant stake in the company. In addition, they, the business will continue to operate independently as a brand and will focus on core customers, banks, asset managers, and fintech players. This deal closed after being initially signed in June and will enable Dolce Borse to provide a direct entry point for investments in digital assets. And last but not least, our major selection of funding rounds. Fintech startup Aspiration Partners Inc. from Los Angeles, backed by actors Robert Downey Jr. and Leonardo DiCaprio, raised $350 million from funds. They're currently managed by Oak Tree Capital Management and former Microsoft affiliates. Amsterdam and London-based Mambu has raised 235 million euros, a Series E that values the company at 4.9 billion. The funding is being laid by EQT Growth, a European private equity firm, but are not disclosing other investors. Payment tech company Silverflow, based in Amsterdam, has closed a $17 million Series A round led by Kochu Management. This round was joined by angel investors Jason Gardner, founder and CEO of Marketa, and Gokul Rajaram, board member of Coinbase. The Silverflow software gives payment processors, acquirers, and merchants a connection to a card network through APIs. They plan to use the money for expansion into the U.S. For this and much more, you can check out our website for the latest news, investments, insights, and research. Please visit hollandfintech.com news, where you can also subscribe to our weekly global fintech news email newsletter. That's it for this week's news roundup. I'm Sandy Chavez from Holland Fintech, and thank you so much for watching.